You are listening to Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph LaRosa. Join us today as Pastor Ralph concludes everything that we have learned this week about God the Father and forgiveness. Here is Pastor Ralph. Now, let's talk about winning over strongholds, snares, which is addictions, bitterness, and repeated sins. I don't know about you, but I get tired of confessing the same sin. So let me talk about that. It, it is true, and I've given this many times, God forgives freely, instantly, completely, and I highlighted it, repeatedly. 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, He is always faithful and just to forgive. This is true, but, I don't know about you, I get tired of repeating and confessing the same sin. Listen to what John said in 1 John 2, 1. My dear children, I write this so that you will not sin. Okay? It's better not to sin. Especially the repeated sins. But if anyone does sin, we still have one who speaks to the Father in our defense, our advocate, Jesus Christ, the only righteous one. I want to give you a verse. I call this the stronghold agenda. This is when you keep repeating the same sin. It becomes a snare to you, a trap. Okay, listen to Proverbs 28, 13. Many years ago, I mean back in 1975, a pastor was criticizing rebound. And I reacted. And he used this verse. And I so reacted because he was criticizing rebound that I never use this verse, but it's a powerful verse. And he was wrong and I was wrong. You can use this verse. Listen to me. When you have a stronghold, you can use this verse. Proverbs 8, 28, 13. He who covers or conceals his sin will not prosper spiritually. But whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. And what this means, you can say, you know what, Father? I have repeated this sin. I'm tired of it. I tried to forsake it. Help me. And he will. You will receive mercy. Listen to Revelation 2, 4, and 5. Here's a group of people that had a beautiful start in the, in the Christian life. A church. They had incredible teachers. Listen to what Jesus said. We, we don't mind the word forsaken here. You have forsaken your first love. So remember the height from which you have fallen. Repent. Change your mind. Do the things you did at first. God will answer that Proverbs 28, 13 if you're sincere about it. And you ask him to help you to forsake a sin that keeps coming back. He'll help you with that. That's his that's his prerogative and his job. He has the power to do that. Okay, I want you to examine yourself. We, we constantly, that's why we have communion. We need to do that over and over again. Listen to 2 Timothy 2.19. The Lord knows who are his. And let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Iniquity is that worst of those five kinds of sins. This is anomia. This is the rebellious kind. God knows who are really is. We don't. Listen to 2 Timothy 2, 24 through 26. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel or argue, but be gentle, able to teach, patient. Perhaps God, listen, will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and come to their senses. Pray for that. Be gentle. Examine yourself. Help others. Challenge them. You can always go before the throne of grace. It's always available to the believer. So what are we studying? We've studied judicial forgiveness. The model prayer in chapter 6, verses 14 and 15, is not talking to the unbeliever. 
Unbelievers just need to be in Christ. God will equip them so they can forgive other people. But they need to be forgiven by God first. And then God will deal with that kind of sin. But as a believer, you can go boldly before the throne of grace. You can have your joy restored. And remember, there's judicial, the fact of salvation, and the forgiving Father, the joy of salvation. One is the righteous judge, the other is the forgiving Father. This is what happens when you get out of fellowship. This is why we have bitterness and we don't forgive others and we don't reconcile with others. Listen to this. When we sin, we are walking in the flesh. We are carnal. We are grieving the Holy Spirit. We are quenching the Holy Spirit. We need to examine ourselves. We need to judge ourselves. We need to confess our sins. We need to reconcile with someone maybe. Or your loving, holy, heavenly Father will discipline us. Why? Hebrews 12, 6. Whom the Lord loves, he disciplines, he chastens. Why? He loves you so much. He wants that intimacy. He wants to give you that joy. He wants you to teach transgressors. That's why. So once again, we have the fact of salvation, the once and for all judicial forgiveness. We have the joy of our salvation, the day by day, moment by moment if necessary, the loving forgiveness of a loving Heavenly Father who has provided everything for us to be forgiven. So always the solution, repent, change your mind, change your mind about some of these verses, use them, okay, and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening to Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph Florosa. As believers, let us examine ourselves, confess our sins, and reconcile with those who have hurt us. Our Heavenly Father did everything for us to be forgiven. That is because of His love, grace, and mercy towards us. Join us again next week on our next broadcast. God bless you and stay healthy.